All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. Apologies for a slightly longer than usual pre-show. They just did a big client update to Dota. I didn't realize it, so I had to update. They haven't done much worthy, apparently. They got rid of treasure keys, which is interesting. And apparently it's causing a whole bunch of market nonsense to go on at the moment. Because apparently you can trade the keys for treasure chests now until they all disappear. But they put some new chests into the game that you can now unlock. And they've just got rid of keys entirely. So if you get a chest, which I, I don't even know if they drop anymore, but you can just open it, I believe. That's my understanding of it at any rate. Could, of course, be completely wrong with that. They put a new EG bundle in as well, which has an EG HUD and loading screen. <coughs> now, I believe they said that they they were releasing new chests. I don't know if you could buy them, though. They might just be drops now. But if they had some new chests, I was going to buy some. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they've got some new treasures. So the Mendes Palm... And the Onyx Eye, by the looks of it. So let's buy some before we begin. Speaking of buy, hey, go buy this shit. <laughs> All right. We'll buy a few items, shall we? So they've done this whole thing where you don't receive duplicates anymore, which is a bit weird. But we'll buy a few of those. So there's a Windrunner set, a Puck set, a... That's Darkseer set, and that. And then the extremely rare item is Grimoire the Bookworm, and then there's a mythical Rubik set, which looks pretty good. Cool. Yeah, we'll buy it. We'll buy a few. I'll just charge my Steam wallet, so why not? Which you could just buy, like, four. We we'll probably just buy... We can buy all of them, can't we? There we go. So we got the Darkseer set. Which... Looks a little bit like that. That's okay. I like the back bit. That's quite nice. Not massively keen on the rest of it, but the back bit and the braces are alright. That's cool. There we go. Let's see what else we got. Alright, wind runner set. And that looks like that. Okay. It's got a new hairstyle. There you go. How exciting is that? Not particularly. I like the bow, though. It's quite nice. <coughs> Alright. Yeah, I think we can just buy all four sets, can't we? It's basically $10 gets you four sets and a chance of the rares. Puck set. I do want that Rubik set. That does look pretty good. I would appreciate that very much. I do have a Rubik set, but it's not very great. That's what Pucks looks like, so slightly different wings. <laughs> Alright. I guess there's not much you can really do with Puck, is there? But hey. And then we got one more of these. Which should get us the last one there. No, I'll have a look at the others. There you go. No rare stuff. Very sad. But, oh, that changes your... That's kind of neat. It's a rare treant. I always like the ones that change how the abilities look. Got quite a few of those with the international. And these are the other ones. The Treasure of the Onyx Eye. So that's a what? Outworld Devourer. Silencer. That's going to be a, a very strange looking one. And a new bat, by the looks of it. Those look alright. So we'll grab those and then we'll get into a game. Out will devour us it. Which looks a bit like this. Now its wings just look silly. <laughs> I've got to be honest. I actually had no idea the Outworld Devourer had such stubby wings. Apparently he does. I'm not hugely keen on that. 
It's a bit weird they didn't do a, a head change for that as well. well. It's not... Eh, it's okay, I suppose. It's not brilliant. Techies isn't out. <laughs> Techies will never be out. I don't care what you say. It's not going to happen. There we go. Sweet. So... That one looks like it's got custom ghosts, which I like a great deal. That's cool. That I like a lot. Yeah, Spirits of the Morning Mother, so... That's a brand new ghost, so I'm big into that one. That's a great set. Silencer bundle. Always nice. I always felt like his outfit was a tad silly. I like that shield. That's good. That is fantastic. That's a really good set. Hat's a little silly, but the rest of it, absolutely phenomenal. That's really good. That's much better than his default. And one more, and then we'll go in the game. I know, we will not use the EG HUD. <laughs> it's not happening. Very happy. The final one and we get the set that I was after. That's great. That's a good start to the stream, isn't it? Inscribed Wandering Harlequin's Regalia. It is a mythical bundle. If I were to sell that, I'm just curious at how much this sells for right now. Probably a fairly good amount. Oh, no one has it yet. Basically, oh, no one's tried to sell it yet. Now, I'm not putting that up for sale. Fuck that, I want it. That's an awesome looking set. I'm definitely having it. Look at that. There's a cape and new staff. And a loading screen too. So we'll equip all. That's awesome. Look at that thing. That is fantastic. That is a brilliant looking set. I love what they've done. That he actually isn't made of anything, is he? Look at that. That is great. Cool. And we got the other one too. So we, we got out of that like a bandit. Oh, that's an inscribed. Hang on, were all the other ones inscribed? Yeah, they are. Okay. Ooh, turbulent teleport. What does that do? I don't know what half of this sh shit actually does. Like, what is a kinetic gem exactly? If I have a look at that, will it tell me? No, I guess I go to socketing. Kinetic gem. That doesn't tell me shit. Like, what is that? Someone please tell me what a kinetic gem is. I have no idea. Like, the gem system is a big mystery to me. I know what, like, the, the inscribed gems are obviously fairly self-explanatory, but a lot of this stuff I don't really understand. I gotta admit. It's, an, it's a special effect animation? Cool. That's nice. I wonder what it looks like. I guess there's no way of telling without actually going to the game and equipping it. Look at that! That is amazing! That is a really cool set. Sweet. Very happy with that one. Cool! Well, that was uh, $20 well spent on virtual hats. <laughs> Let's get in the game. Hmm. Yeah, very happy to get the to get the epic there. That's my current MMR, 2934. We are playing ranked now. That's how it is. Playing ranked all pick for the foreseeable future. I picked up that ancient armor as well because I mean I never play Morphling, frankly, because I have no idea what I'm doing with him. But I picked it up. It's 99 cents. This is becoming a problem. Like, every time they put a spotlight sale up, like, it's like, it's only 99 cents. Like, yes, but you're buying one of these every day. You are giving them, like, $30, $40 a month for virtual hats. Uh. 
Well, at least it's not pay to win like TF2. I had some decent games today. I've been going about 50-50. Obviously, I've won a, a few more than I've lost. And my win rate now is about 55%, I think, in ranked. But obviously, I don't have a large enough sample size for that to make a difference. I should play some Death Prophet with that new one, though. Or Silencer. Silencer's just a dick in general. Um, I don't know, I mean, some people said that that was a decent enough MMR, like, to just when you're very inexperienced. So, you know, it's pretty much still trash tier, but what do we dealt with two network currently offline? The balls happened there. I might have to restart my game. We'll see if it gets us into a game first. We're 9 out of 10. So this, this guy right here might be the one that screws us over. Yep, I got nothing. Uh, incidentally, uh, yeah, so it, it's the daily health questions again, isn't it? Okay, so update on the health situation. Um, I have a surgery date booked for October. I'll be in hospital for five days, most likely. Possibly three if I'm a stubborn enough bastard to recover quickly, which I probably will be. So obviously I'll be completely out of action during that time. And, you know, there'll be recovery and things like that involved. That's towards the end of October. Until then, I, I've got no more radiation or chemo. After the surgery is done and after recovery period, I start the rest of the chemo to finish the bastard off, right? So that's how it is. And currently I'm feeling just fine. Uh, not having any problems here, aside from the you know, headaches and things like that. But that, that just happens. So that's the whole situation. I won't answer any more questions about it. Uh, but... Something kind of tangent, that's not a real word. Sort of kind of related-ish. I'm going to have to restart, aren't I? God damn it. That's annoying. So, something that's related to all of this is Perry and Flax is doing a stream at the weekend for the Raising Money for Cancer Research. Uh, I'm going to jump on there for about three hours to do pub stomps with him and all sorts of other nonsense. And that's going to be going on all day. I'll let you know where it is close to the time. I'll do a slash host on this stream so that you'll be able to see it. But I'll be on with Pyrian Flax at the weekend for cancer research. That should be pretty cool. I actually have not done anything with Pyrian Flax and I really should have because, you know, seems like my kind of person. <laughs> Did they patch again? They just patched. I mean, we were just back in game from that. Yeah, if the game's down, I'll obviously play something else until it's back up, but... Yeah, interesting. Okay, so I suppose Dota 2 is currently down. Alright, well, we'll I uh, well, guess we'll mess around with a little bit of Hearthstone or whatever until, until we get back. Trying to think, is there anything else that I would want to play on stream? Anything that springs to mind? Not really. Yeah, there'll be a way to donate. I'm not sure which charity he's doing it to. I, I It'll all be explained on stream. I'll try loading once more, and if I don't get it, uh, then I will play Hearthstone for a little bit. Solo heroes. Oh god, I hate you so much. If I was to play heroes, I'd grab someone from... We've got a large channel that has all sorts... Oh, it's back up. Cool, so we can play. Hopefully. What? Oh, fuck you, Valve. Look at this shit. You are prevented from matchmaking due to four minutes due to failing to ready up. It was broken! <laughs> I couldn't do shit! God damn it. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, so I have to wait three and a half minutes. So I'm gonna do... A, I'll do a little Q&A while we're waiting for this damn thing. Uh, that's annoying. Okay, three and a half minutes of Q&A until we get started. I'll answer a few questions quickly, so send them into the chat. God damn it, Valve. Ugh. Oh yeah, the Warlords Draenor cinematic was really awesome. Probably the best one they've done, honestly. I didn't rank it higher than the Burning Crusade one, which I loved. So good. So very, very good. 
Welcome to Naughty Zombie who does subscribe, by the way. I don't really do subscriber shoutouts. It's not a thing. There's uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. Mostly because the chat scores quite fast and I usually miss them. And I find those new subscriber notifiers on stream to be really obnoxious. Uh, it's interesting because the, the way that those work is very much designed to encourage people to subscribe. It's almost like a sort of, it's not really subliminal per se, but it's it's a like kind little shove in that direction. I don't really like putting too much on the screen to interfere with the game or whatever. So, I don't. <laughs> like, that's why I don't have a webcam. I've got that little small thing in the corner, which I just added just as kind of a social media information and branding. Also means people can't run off with my footage without crediting, so, you know, that's good. But yeah, I don't, I don't really like doing that. Oh, Northern Lion is also hosting me right now. Big thanks to him for that. Much appreciated. Getting ads on Twitch Mobile if you subscribe. You shouldn't be getting those. I would suggest that you contact customer support for Twitch. That shouldn't be happening. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be ad-free regardless. If, if you get a bad response back to that, then let me know and I'll shout at them. Because that's bullshit. If you subscribe to this channel, you shouldn't be getting any ads at all. And I don't run pre-rolls on this channel anyway, so, you know, the ad, the ad time on this channel is fairly minimal. I run, like, maybe two minutes of ads an hour at most. And that's usually at the end of a game. Okay, yeah, just quick. Uh, have I talked to Husky recently? How is he? Yes, uh, he's good. He's very busy. They just moved into a new house. That's why things are really hectic for him. Uh, so, yeah, he's got a lot going on IRL. He's doing fine, though. Have I talked to... Uh, that's the same one. Have you ever considered adopting a Yogscast business model, having a mini network of cynical Brit channels? Nope. No interest in that. Uh, the, you know, the only thing that I would ever do is if Polaris went to absolute shit. And Polaris has its problems, but for me, they've been really good. They've solved every problem that I've had. And they also pay me on time every time and have done so for the last two fucking years. Like, I have never worked for a company that has paid me that well. Just in the case of, like... I know when it's, like, it'll be 12.01 every single time. Except on weekends where they pay you early to make sure that you don't have to wait because the banks are closed on Saturday. It, they're awesome for that. But anyway, what I would do is, I, you know, if Polaris went to shit, I might consider making my own small network because I would like to do that. And that's just simply, you know, to, to create a network uh, with people I really trust, basically make them all proper, like, managed partners and, you know, take a... A tiny amount of management, uh, like of maybe 5% cut, which I'd then use to pay a manager and put the rest kind of in a fund for legal support. And that would really be about it. But no, I never do a mini network like Yogscast does. Cause I don't want the responsibility. Like the Cynical Brit brand is me and my wife. And that's it, you know. And that's how I want it to stay. Oh, cool. We can queue for a match now. This will probably take another couple of minutes. but So I'll do a little bit more Q&A in the meantime. 